Hello there, senior high school students. Welcome or welcome back here on my channel. This is me once again, Teacher Jinjin, your virtual teacher here on YouTube. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel na ito, gumagawa ako ng mga Tagalog tutorial videos mula grade 7 hanggang grade 11. Kung interesado ka, please like, subscribe, at i-click mo na rin ang notification bell para ma-notify ka kapag may bago akong upload na video. Magandang araw mga minamahal kong grade 11 learners! Sa video na ito ay igagaid ko kayo sa inyong dependent practice at independent assessment. Kung hindi nyo pa napanood yung lesson 1 about simple interest, i-click nyo na lang dito sa card or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Bago nga natin simulan ay i-recall lang muna natin at i-review natin yung mga formulas na ginagamit for compound interest. Para mahanap natin yung future value that is equal to P times quantity of 1 plus R raised to the power of T. At kapag naman compounding more than once a year, ang maturity value is equal to P times 1 plus J raised to the power of N. Wherein, yung N is equal to M times T. At yung J naman is equal to rate over M. Okay? Then, for compound interest naman, that is equal to future value minus the present value. At para makuha naman yung present value, F divided by 1 plus J raised to the power of N. Where F is the maturity value, I subsist the compound interest. P is the present value or principal. J is rate of interest for each conversion period. So, ang conversion period na gagamitin ay... For annually, M is equal to 1. Semi-annually, M equals 2. Quarterly, M equals 4. Monthly, M equals 12. Okay, so simulan na nga natin dito sa ating independent practice 1. Disclaimer lang mga anak, pinapalitan ko yung mga given upang sa ganun ay subukan ninyong isolve yung nasa module ninyo. Kasi mas magandang mag-solve kapag kayo mismo yung mag-solve. Dito sa number 1, how much Michelle set aside and invest in a fund earning 2.1% compounded quarterly if she wants to accumulate 50,000 pesos in 5 years? Ilan da yung isa set aside niya at i-invest niya para magkaroon siya ng 50,000 pesos in 5 years? Okay, so i-identify natin yung mga given. Ang mga given dito... Yung future value or the maturity value is equal to 50,000 pesos. And ang rate na ginamit is equal to 2.1%. So ilan yan? Move two places to the left, magiging 0.021. So compounded quarterly, meaning ang M natin is equal to 4. Kasi quarterly, di ba? Ang J naman natin, that is equal to rate over m or i raised to m yun yung rate pa rin naman so ang rate natin is 0 0.021 divide it by conversion period na 4 so 0 0.021 divide it by 4 is equal to 0 0.00525 kasi negative 3 yung exponent ng 10 raised to negative 3 so, the value for J is equal to 0 0.00525. Bakit 00525? Kasi nandito yung decimal point niya, negative 3 yung exponent, kaya 1, 2, 3, kaya naging ganyan. Okay? Pero meron pa rin naman yung mga calculator na direction na sa ganyan. And then, ang time naman natin is equal to 5 years. Meaning to say, ang N is equal to M times T. Ang M natin is 4 times ang T is 5. So, that would be equal to 20. So, ang hinahanap dito is the present value. Ano ulit yung formula natin? That is P is equal to future value over I plus J raised to the power of N. By substitution, future value is 50,000 pesos. Divide it by 1 plus ang J natin is 0 0.00525 raised to the power of 
n and n natin is 20. Then simplify, we will have 50,000 pesos divided by 1.00525 raised to the power of 20. So simplify mo na natin yung nasa baba. So i-add 1 natin to. Magiging 1.00525 raised to the power of 20 is equal to ayan. And then 50,000 pesos. Divide it by answer is equal to 45,028.59. So, this is the present value. Meaning to say, ang i-invest dapat ni Michelle or isa-set aside niya is 45,028.59 pesos para maka-earn siya ng 50,000 pesos in 5 years. Compounded quarterly at 2.1%. Naintindihan? Okay, so let's proceed sa independent assessment number 2. How much should be deposited in a bank 1.15% compounded semi-annually to accumulate an amount of 70,000 pesos in 5 years? So, ang given dito ay yung future value or the maturity value is 70,000 pesos. So, ang time naman is equal to 5 years. At ang rate na ginamit is 1.15% or 0.0115. So, ang M natin is semi-annually, so that is equal to 2. At ang N natin is M times T. So, M times T, 2 times 5 is equal to 10. Ang J naman natin is equal to rate over M. Ano ang rate natin? 0. 0, 0.115 divide it by M is equal to 2 kasi semi-annually. So, what is the answer? 0. 0.0115 divide it by 2 is equal to 0. 0.00575 naman. Kasi raised to the power of negative 3. Okay? Then, ano pa ang wala? Ang hanapin natin is the present value. Kasi ilan daw dapat yung kailangan mong i-deposit. So, ang hanapin natin is the present value or for the principal amount. Kagaya lang din ng ginamit nating formula kanina, E is equal to future value over 1 plus J raised to the power of N. Okay? By substitution, ang future value is 70,000 pesos. Divide it by 1 plus, ang J natin is 0 0.00575 raised to the power of, ang N naman natin is 10. Kasi 2 times 5 equals 10. Then simplify, 70,000 pesos divided by 1 plus 0 0.00575 is equal to 1.00. 575 raised to the power of 10. Nasundan ninyo? Using our calculator, so 1.00575 raised to the power of 10. So, ito yung sagot niya. And then, idiretso na natin i-divide yung 70,000 pesos divided by answer is equal to 66,099. 0.42 pesos by rounding to the nearest hundreds. So, this is the present value or ito yung kailangan niyang i-deposit sa bangko para maka-accumulate siya ng 70,000 pesos in 5 years, compounded semi-annually at 1.15%. Nag-gets nyo na kung paano kunin yung present value. Kung gusto nyo panoorin yung mga susunod pang activities, I-click nyo na lang sa end screen or hanapin nyo na lang sa playlist natin. Okay, kung nakatulong ito sa inyo, please do like this video at mag-comment na rin kayo sa baba. Once again, stay home, stay safe, stay healthy at mag-aral lang mabuti. God bless you all and goodbye!